Hello everyone, welcome to biology at Rubex and uh, our topic of discussion today is going to be glycolysis. Glycolysis is a very important cycle from respiration in plants that is plant physiology and uh, <clears throat> why wait let's get into it. Okay, so glycolysis is the process which involves the conversion of, firstly just the heading. Glycolysis firstly, glyco means sugar, lysis means splitting. So it involves the splitting of the sugar most common form of sugar being glucose so what happens here that uh, glucose is being split to form two molecules of pyruvic acid <clears throat> this is the end product of glycolysis and further the pyruvic acid can have different fates depending upon the pathway it undertakes so it could undergo fermentation after that It could undergo lactic acid fermentation after that and finally it could undergo the aerobic respiration pathway. Glycolysis is kind of like the first step which occurs and it involves the most important step which is the formation of pyruvic acid. And uh, okay so it was being discovered by three scientists Emden Meyerhoff and Parnas. For this reason glycolysis is also known as the EMP pathway. You can see the initials of their names that makes it up EMP pathway, Emden, Meyerhoff and Parnas. Yeah, this is a very important reaction which involves conversion of glucose to pyruvic acid and this is uh, the reaction which is occurring in the cytoplasm of the cell it is a universal reaction because it is occurring in all respiring cells cytoplasm you could see that the fate could be different it could undergo different fates but ye prime reaction and this is what is being formed right net yield if we talk about what is the net yield from this reaction is that two molecules of ATP two molecules of NADH2. This is the net yield for glycolysis. So we're just going to dive into the process now. Okay, so the first half of this reaction that is up to here, this phase is the energy consuming phase. Because it's me hoti hai energy use. And the second half for glycolysis is known as the payoff phase. Payoff phase. Why? Because yaha pe hoti hai energy release. So energy is released in this second half. So the reaction starts with glucose. Glucose is changed into glucose 6-phosphate by the addition of 1-phosphate then an enzyme isomerase isomerase is going to change glucose 6-phosphate into fructose 6-phosphate because we all know that glucose and fructose are isomers of each other fructose is again phosphorylated that is there is addition of another inorganic phosphate to form fructose 1,6-biphosphate right <coughs> I'll just put stars for where the energy is consumed at step 1 energy is consumed and at step 3 energy is consumed step 1 step 3 hence it is the energy use phase right fructose 1 6 biphosphate is split to form dihydroxyacetone phosphate that is DHAP and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate okay now glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is changed into 1,3-biphosphoglyceric acid that is 1,3-BPGA 1,3-BPGA 
what is important at this step is that NAD is converted into NADH2 so this is the first step where one molecule actually two molecules NADH2 are formed because after this phase everything is double 2x in the payoff phase double of everything is used and formed then 1,3-biphosphoglyceric acid is changed into 3-phosphoglyceric acid as you can see that there was removal of one inorganic phosphate star marking an important point here production of ATP and since it is into two two molecules of ATP will be getting formed here then 3-phosphoglyceric acid getting changed into 2-phosphoglyceric acid 2-phosphoglyceric acid changing into phosphoenol pyruvate and phosphoenol pyruvate into two molecules of pyruvic acid the most important step again another two molecules of ATP are being formed here so if we come to the stats for glycolysis so we had one ATP consumed at step one of the cycle then we have one ATP consumed at step 3 of the cycle right so two ATPs were being used let's come to the yield now so we have two molecules of NADH2 formed which phase let's just count with which step it was taking place one two three four five so it was at the fifth step that two molecules of NADH were being produced then at its next step we had two molecules of ATP being formed that is at the sixth one and at the end also that is at the last step we had two molecules of ATP being formed again at the last step net yield being 4 ATP and 2 NADH2 using the data which ATP was used and how much ATP yield we obtained the net yield as we discussed came out to be 2 ATP and 2 NADH2 because 4 ATP jo bani, usme se do to use ho gai. so we are left with 2 ATP 2 NADH2 being the net yield this is the net yield of glycolysis glycolysis is the most important process it talks about the conversion of sugar glucose or fructose into two molecules of pyruvic acid just mentioning two here two molecules of pyruvic acid pyruvic acid can later on have different fates it could undergo fermentation lactic acid fermentation aerobic respiration it is also known as the EMP pathway after the scientists who discovered it Emden, Meerhof and Parnas the process occurs in the cytoplasm it's a universal reaction occurring all over in all the respiring cells we discussed the net yield we discussed the statistics of glycolysis and I hope they were clear to everyone and we discussed the intermediate steps so and uh, I would request you all to actually learn the entire glycolysis reaction cycle I hope I made the learning process easier for you and uh, best of luck to everyone this was glycolysis for you don't be afraid for of plant physiology it's actually very interesting if you just understand it like this so best of luck do great bye